time goes by so quickly, and sometimes as a parent, you want that time with your children just to stand still or at least slow down. For one Oklahoma family, it seems that has happened with their young daughter, who is among a handful of children around the world who don't seem to age at all. When little Layla entered the world, when little Jessie, Layla entered the world, Jesse and Felicia felt their family was complete. You like the piano? She's sweet. She just laughs. Has a huge smile. Yay! Being their third child, they knew what to expect. Plenty of diaper changes and late night feedings, or so they thought. She just wouldn't eat. I mean, we could not make, we could not get her to drink a bottle to save her life. <laughs> what? Not eating was just the first sign, and even when she did start eating... She just wouldn't gain weight. They soon realized Layla would take them on a different path, a timeless path where it appeared their little girl was not aging. She's growing, I mean, but it's just not at the rate that you would expect. Celebrating her third birthday this week, Layla still looks and acts much like a 9- to 10-month-old baby, weighing only about 19 pounds. She's seen, it seems like, every specialty that there is, and everything always comes back normal. Which, that is frustrating. I mean, that is, because, you know, you know, after all those tests, they're all normal, but we know she's not normal. She's not alone. Researcher Dr. Richard Walker has found seven children worldwide, including Layla, who have this extremely rare condition dubbed Syndrome X. He hopes to reveal the condition's genetic blueprint to find out which genes are slowing the aging process. There's really no systematic difference. Dr. Steve Horvath is conducting the clinical test for the study. We visited with him at his research lab on the UCLA campus. I'm the father of a three-year-old girl, you know, and um, I mean, I felt very sympathetic for the families. And passionate to find out why the Syndrome X children are not aging physically or mentally. So they collected blood samples and extracted the DNA for analysis. We did everything right, you know, the whole protocol worked very well, very high quality DNA. But with disappointing results, researchers found that the blood of children with Syndrome X doesn't look any younger than the blood of normal children. It would have been nice to say we found a footprint of a mechanism that um, could explain that condition. As a researcher, you need to continue searching. For the answers Layla's family would like to have. It'd be nice to, to kind of know. Maybe they'll, you know, discover something, but it doesn't matter. Hi. And doesn't change the way they feel about her and joy she brings to their life. <laughs> she might be like this forever, and that's okay with us. We still love her. <laughs> She's been like that. Researchers are also doing a genetic study on the Syndrome X children. Those results are not complete yet, but we have linked a paper on their latest findings to News9.com.